Hey guys, welcome to Shojib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load or open a new level. So I'm in level two. I can walk through this fire and I go to level one. And from level one, I can walk through this fire and you will take me to level two. Um, so what you're going to do is I'm going to create a brand new project. Um, let's pick a first person with no story content and the name of the project would be whatever you want all right so i'm going to create this all right so we have this project open right so to begin with in first person blueprint this is the project folder where you have the first person blueprint blueprints so you have blueprints you have maps this is going to be our level one map so go to maps folder uh you can also um you can have this if you're in this um in this structure you can go back to this folder structure so we are we're in a maps folder i'm going to rename this to level one and it will save the map there you go so i rename it to level one um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the text that we have it here to level one so click on the tags on the right you'll see tags level one okay change the color so this more bright like something like yellow there you go okay so we're in level one right uh now we're going to create copy and uh not copy and paste yet we can go to go back to a blueprint folder and right click and we're going to create a new actor name it um level trigger all right this actor will trigger will be our trigger um and we're going to add a particle effect so that it's feasible first thing we're going to add a um, box collision right um this is the trigger um from the root click on add uh, particle particle system All right so for, so let's increase the size so it's going to be 10 10 by 10 by 10 All right and on the particle we're going to pick the um So we're going to pick this and we'll increase the size to like five by five by five. So we have a fire here. Uh, this is good enough. Um, okay, so let's um, compile and save and go to the event graph. Right, did all this. Uh, we're going to create a variable here and it's going to be next level. This variable will be name, type name. And we're going to click on instance editables now right click and go to event go to event actor begin overlap okay and then we're going to open level then this is where you put the name of the level and the, our name of the level is going to be dynamic we will be assigning level names from from our level so currently this is empty right it's empty um and we're going to drag this and put it here right i mean compile save and close this now we're going to drag this and put it here Ooh, it's pretty big right there you go it's visible all right so we're in level one right and so click on this trigger level trigger and on the right side you will see next level uh, so from level one we're going to go to level two so make sure the case matters so it's l is in uppercase and everything in lowercase level two level two whatever you name it your level two is going to go here exactly the way it is in the uh, maps folder so we're going to go to levels two um save it and we're going to go back to our first blueprint and maps folder we're going to right click level one and we're going to duplicate so duplicate will automatically create level two for you uh, the naming convention is the same right now we're going to open level two it will tell us to save level one save selected all right now we're in level two how do you know because it says here right level two all right level in level two we're going to change two things one is the trigger uh the next level is going to be level one okay and the text on the floor is going to be level two because we're in level two. That's pretty much it. That's it. Save it. 
um we can we can go back to level one all right we're in level one let's play this all right see we're in level one so we if we go through this fire it's going to put us in level two and we're in level two right pretty cool from level two we can go to level one that's it for this video i hope you guys found it useful until next time goodbye